This short video will help guide you through the process of setting up your Fast Track Tennis Net so you can start having fun in no time. Notice inclusion of new metal spacer part designed to keep the balls flowing freely. This piece fits over the metal frame and clicks securely into place. Remember to add it as one of your first steps during setup. After the net is in place, you will secure the net's Velcro strap through the metal loop. Also make sure nylon cord knots on fiberglass poles fit neatly into holes. Now follow along while I set up the net. If you do this regularly and follow a process, it is super easy and can be done quickly, and you do not need to be tall to do this. Start by placing the metal frame, corner pieces, and fiberglass poles on the floor in front of you so all your pieces are at your fingertips. Click the metal frame together and remember to add the metal spacer to the metal frame. Next, place the two black fiberglass poles into position and orient the net. I look for the black back strap as the top middle back of the net. Open the Velcro sleeve and drop the pole down through the sleeve. You do not have to be tall to do this and it is the very best way. Loosely hook the net over the top of the pole and pull across to the other side. Notice how the fiberglass pole gently bends. Now repeat the process with the other sleeve. Put your foot on the metal frame and gently bend the pole into position. The fiberglass poles are designed to bend gently in the middle, so this is the best way. Find the white fiberglass cross pole and slide it through the top sleeve. Once it is almost all the way through, attach the metal corner piece to the white pole, then attach it to the black upright pole. Notice how you'll be able to pull the net towards you if you're not tall enough. Find the other end of the white cross pole and attach the other metal corner piece and then attach it to the black upright pole. All connections, sleeves, and Velcro closures should fit neatly together. Slide the Velcro strap through the metal loop on the spacer and secure it into place by gently pulling and attaching the Velcro strap. Next, fit the three-piece skinny fiberglass pole into the sleeve on the right side of the net. You will need to gently work the pole through the sleeve as the shape is a semicircle. People have commented that this is a lot like setting up a tent. Make sure the pole goes all the way to the end and then push the pole into place and secure the Velcro closure. Again, gently work the pole through the sleeve and make sure that it goes all the way to the end. Once the pole is at the end, it should easily push into semicircle shape and be secured by the Velcro closure. Finally, secure the hanging net with the included carabiner clips and 
add the metal hooks to the Velcro straps on the ball chute. Now you're ready to put the machine into place and secure the metal hooks into position. Notice how the hooks fit next to, but not inside the ball tube. Adding the Velcro targets is easy in the final step. These are great fun alone, or especially as part of our smartphone app. Space them as I have them positioned here, and then you are ready to go.